Hello there everybody, it's Sally here with another Tuesday Teaching Tips. And today, as our term gets going and our pupils return to us, I just want to very quickly um, talk about pupil learning. And the pupil learning needs to be at the centre of the lesson. And I know I'm certainly guilty of that not always being the case, that sometimes I'm so busy with my teaching that I enjoy all the teaching bits and planning all the teaching, but then I neglect to think about, well, what is the pupil learning? So the, the pupil and what they're going to learn should be the starting point for planning the lesson. Now, even if you're using a, a method book, you should still have an overview of what the pupil is going to learn. The way I would phrase it, or one way you could phrase it, is something like, um, by the end of the lesson, Karen will be able to demonstrate one practice strategy. Karen will be able to demonstrate and explain even better one practice strategy. And then you know for the for the course of that lesson, that is really what you're leading towards. Now you might say, well, that's very limited, Sally. Yeah, but it is deliberately so. If we have one focus, we're far more likely to achieve it. Whereas if we take several or we haven't got any at all, then it's quite likely we'll get lost. The pupil will certainly get lost and all the learning will be uh, out of the window. So that's my teaching tip for today that put the pupil at the centre of the learning. Make sure that you've thought about the learning objective. Make sure that you've considered what you want the pupil to know by the end. OK, bye for now.